Hi guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, and I have Matilda. She's going to try to run away, and I'm going to be like Pepe La Pew. No! Mwah, 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 mwah. Don't leave me! Mon chéri, no! Stay here. Mwah, 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 mwah. Okay, she doesn't want to be with me. That's all right. It is okay. She'll come back. I know she will. Um... Today is day 17 of um, Christmas Advent, so it has been lots and lots of fun. Um, last night at hockey, we did not win, but that's okay. It was actually a tie, and um, they did, uh, we do do overtime, three-on-three -three overtime, but it doesn't count as a win. It still counts as just a tie. And um, the other team scored first in the overtime, so they they technically won, but technically, technically, they didn't um, because uh, they don't ah, they don't count tiebreakers. She just bit me, <laughs> you little brat. All righty, so um, let's open up the advents and see what we have. All righty. Okay, so we have day 17. Um, they sound kind of small. What do you think? I don't know if you heard that or not, but let's open it. Let's open it. Um, I gave, I have two favorite players um, on hockey. One is number six. He's my ultimate, ultimate favorite. Um, his name, his last name is Lloyd, number six. There is there is a reason why I like him. He's a phenomenal player. Um, but there's another reason why I've been really drawn to him. And I'm going to keep that private um, as to why. Uh, a lot of my a uh, lot of my friends do know why, but oops, I I already looked at it. Um, and then there's another one, and his last name is Risk, and he's number eleven. Um, they're both just as cute as they can be, and I want to adopt both of them. So here we go. Those are teeny teeny tiny seeds, and these are strawberry. We do have a variety of strawberry. I'm going to step on you if you don't watch out. Um, that uh, does come up here year after year. And I will have to ask my friend Jimmy if he will give me a couple of the sprouts so I can plant them um, in a place where the moose can't get them or the voles or the rabbits or... Um, Whatever else eats strawberries. So, um, I'll try to plant these, but these are going to be ones that I have to plant over and over and over and over. Um, I, I just want, we love strawberries. So, this is a uh, 17 strawberry is in the books. All right. Okay, so let's go with, she is right here. And here is number 17. I'm worried that I'm going to step on her because she keeps playing with her piece of paper. Ooh, she might like this sisal ball. Yep. Yeah, um, she is not a good jumper. Come here. Oh, I am going to take her to the vet to see if there's you know, if her jumping jumpness is is okay, but she for her age and her size, she's not a good jumper. So, um, special needs cats, we don't mind, do we? No, we don't. But I just want to make sure that there is nothing physically wrong with her, huh? Can you say hi to everybody and I'll let you down? Here you go. Where are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Here. Yeah. 
C hi. Alrighty, here you go. Go get it. Uh, she chased it once. That's all right. I think I'm going to make her toys and then soak them in catnip. <laughs> and then I'm going to hang them up in like bags like this. Um, she's not a, much of a treat eater. Persephone is. So I'll do treats for Persephone and toys for her. Okay, so, oh, isn't this funny? Speaking of strawberries, I have a strawberry stitch marker. There we go. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Okie dokie. So, are we ready to find out if I was good or naughty or nice? Here we go. Let's find out. All right. I kind of enjoy being naughty, even though my naughty, I'm not a very naughty person. I'm normally a very nice person. This elf that I have, Seamus, man, he's really picky. So, um, oh, I was nice. I gave stuffies for the children at the teddy bear toss. Oh, that was sweet. I did. Um, I, I threw out four. Um, the one that I picked up, I, um, I actually kept when I got to the hockey game. I realized it was one of those, and I, I didn't know if, it would, I didn't think it would be okay for kids. Um, so, and um, I kept it with me. It was one of those ones that either has like rice or beans in it and you stick it in the microwave and then you put it in the animal and um, it, uh, you know, keeps you warm. It was a hedgehog. I know exactly where it is. I put it up here. So... Let me get it real quick. All righty. So, here it is right... Oh, <laughs> I thought you were right there. Here it is right here. It is adorable, but it's... um. I don't know what it call, what you call it, but at the bottom... And I didn't realize this when I picked it up. It has, you know, like rice or beans or something in it. Um, so I opted to, uh, I opted to keep this. Uh, so, you know, I was thinking maybe my husband could use it or. My son, um, they probably wouldn't want to snuggle with a porcupine. I would, but I wouldn't put him in the, um, oh, his, his, uh, his nose is starting to fall off. I'm going to have to sew that on. I'm really glad I didn't send this. All righty. So, um, that was that. I'll put that there. Now, I do have happy mail from Anita that um I did open with her and it's um I'm gonna open I'm gonna let you guys see what it is. So um the first thing she sent me is a little Grinch. Isn't he adorable? He's gonna go right on my tree or in my tree. We'll stick him right there right by my cardinal. Oh, okay well Well, maybe that'll work. Kind of, sort of. I'm going to have to get a hook from him. There he goes. He's right there. Okay. 
So let's see what else. There's a whole bunch of different things in here. Um, Anita really spoiled me. You guys need to go subscribe to her. Anita Y.O.H. Dot crochet. And these I just get the, the silliest kick out of. Um, my Emily loved dinosaurs. It all started with Jurassic Park 2. Um, I get, we were terrible parents. Uh, she was like two, two and a half. And her favorite movie was Jurassic Park. And she thought that it was funny when um, the guy was sitting on the toilet hiding from the T-Rex. And the T-Rex found him and... And he ate them, and she would just giggle and say, say, dinosaur, eat man. So, yeah, so I still get a kick out of dinosaurs. So, there we go. They remind me of Emily. So, that's that. When we moved to Georgia from Anchorage, or we moved from Anchorage to Georgia, uh, we were renting a house on the Georgia-Alabama border. And my husband caught a green anole lizard. And um, he picked it up and he was showing Emily and he said, look, it's a baby dinosaur. She was hooked from all creepy crawly things since then. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to move Mr. Hedgehog right there. So I also got a little... Um, dinosaur bracelet and it says roar uh means i love you in dinosaur so i'm gonna put this on after this video and i got a little wallet that i'm gonna change because it has supernatural on it yeah baby look at dean isn't he handsome yeah, Sam's okay. I didn't like the character of Sam. I like the character of smart-ass Dean. All righty. So, but Crowley was my all-time favorite. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay, so I'm going to save this because this is the coolest gift ever. So I'm going to save that one. I got some, uh, look, Calico um, Kitty Paw Prints for my needles, my knitting needles. And I got some polar bears that I can stick anywhere I want to. It has different polar bears doing different things, and I have little stickies that I can put them on. All righty. I got... A frog tape measure. Funny story about a frog, too. When Emily was was little, um, three to five, she did not like to eat meat. She, she would eat meat, but only if we told her that it was frog. I, I don't know. I would thought she would have been mortified because she loved frogs so much. Um, that we had like about 10 of them in the house and we would go out as a family and catch crickets and grasshoppers and any other thing that we could find to feed them every day. And um, so I was just teasing with her one day and I said, it's frog, you better eat it. And she did. So for a while there, we told her it was frog and she ate it. Terrible. I, we were just terrible. I know. I know. Don't say anything. Okay, so, I can't remember what this is. Yes, I do. <laughs> hey, guys, guess what? Come on, you know what's next. Guess what? How about a whole bunch of chicken butts? There we go. There's a chicken butt. It's a magnet that I can stick on the refrigerator over there. Isn't that adorable? And guess what again? Uh-oh, I have to glue this foot on, but that is okay. I have some Gorilla Super Glue over there. Here's another one. 
Oh, the magnet came off too. That's all right. I can fix it. I can fix anything. I'm going to keep this in the bag though. I'm going to put the bag right here. And here's one more chicken butt. Guess what? Chicken butt. There we go. Chicken butt. Let me have this. I don't want you to choke on that. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there. And there's one more thing in here in this little bag. <laughs> it's a nightlight dinosaur. And I'm not going to take it out because um, I have to have Patrick find out how to put the batteries in. There are batteries that go with it, and they are in here, but I didn't want to break it. Um, so I needed to figure out how to um, get it together the right way. So I'm not going to pull it out of there. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here. Because I need to fix that. So there's an Eggmas. I forgot about Eggmas. So here's an Eggmas. And oh look, here's another. This is another Eggmas. So there was four. So I have six days of Eggmas. And I'm going to start it on the 26th. So I have six days of Eggmas. Unless. I can bribe. I can't bribe. I can beg because I am the egg beggar. Egg beggar needs more eggs. Egg beggar always needs eggs. Okay. So I'm going to put these underneath. I have two boxes of presents that I bought for myself um, down here. Okay. Oh, I got another surprise. Wait one second. Hope, please. I'll be right back. You know, I don't remember it being... Okay, you guys ready? How you like my hat? I should have worn this to the hockey game last night. I don't think TJ would have taken a picture with me if I had done that. That's all right. I love him anyway. Okay. Here's another one from Smartass and Sass. These are gloves right here. This is a kid hat, which is why it's fitting my fat head a little bit tight. But I didn't think I could pull off the... Um, pull off the gloves like I could the hat. This is a glass cup. Um, <laughs> and for some reason, everybody thinks I like to make a scene. So, um, there we go. I am making a scene. Well, because I do kind of like to make a scene. It's all good, though. Okie dokie. Um, and it's like a sippy cup. Uh-huh. I am going to put this up here. The kitties never go up there, so I'm going to put this in there. Okay, so let's see what else. Ooh, it's a polar bear hottie. Oh, it's just like the, it's just like this. This one's a, what are you? A hedgehog, and this one's a polar bear. I like the polar bear rubber. And you put this one in the microwave, just like this, and you can snuggle with them. I'm more apt to stick it in the freezer, because I, I get hot quicker. Okay. All right, let me show you the most unique gift um, is... Um, 
Amico yarn sample. Isn't this awesome? I am going to put this in a project. But this, Anita sent me this, is her Miko's fur. She had it spun. It's 100% dog hair. So soft. I don't have dogs that have a second coat and shed. I used to. We used to have Rescue St. Bernard's. And, um... And I didn't know at the time that we could do this. So what we did is we would stick, um, whenever we would brush them, we'd stick their hair in the trees so the birds and squirrels could use them as a nest in the wintertime. But that is cool. So this is going to go in a project. Don't know which one yet, but it is. Okay. And this one is was my favorite one. Everybody knows that I am a Supernatural fan. If you don't, I am. Um, Crowley, the King of Hell, is my favorite. Um, followed closely, very, very closely, by Dean, and then Bobby, and then Sam. Yeah. Um, so, Anita got me this awesome shirt right here. Let's see. Okay, it says, Dean, serving size, one awesome man. And then daily values, um, hardworking, 1,000%. Un, what is it? Unbelievable or unrivaled skill, 500%. Funny, 100%. Um... Wrong answers, zero. Flatulence, 110%. Good looking, 200%. Percent daily values are based on your unique diet. So, yes, I, uh, I love this. And when I wash it, I'm going to wear it. Yep, yep, yep. Love it, love it, love it. Wonder if they have a Crowley one. I might have to look it up. All righty. So, that's not normally how I fold shirts, but that's okay. So, that is it from the gifts from um, Anita. Thank you so much, Anita. Uh, you were, you didn't have to do that. We I didn't think we were... I thought we nixed the idea of exchanging presents in um, December, and we're going to do it in July. So um, I'm going to get you back in July. So uh, thanks, guys, for watching. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.